We're gonna learn how to use the swatches panel in Photoshop and you already know that because it's literally the title of the video. I've added a shape layer, a text layer and an image to this Photoshop document. Let's go to Window Swatches. This will open the swatches panel, obviously. Here you can see Photoshop's default swatches and you can click on the menu button and change the view to large list to see the names of the swatches. Clicking on the menu button also allows you to rename, delete, import and export your swatches. But let's create our own swatches because we're, we're, we're creative people, aren't we? I'll simply activate the eyedropper tool to sample a color from this image and then click the create new swatch button. I'll rename it and I have the option to add it to my library if I want to use it on another device or, you know, share it with someone. Click OK and the new swatch appears in the swatches panel. Let's create another one. Sample another color and click create. Now that I have two swatches, I'm going to click on this button to create a new group. Rename it. Click OK. Select these two swatches by holding down the shift key and then drag them into the group just to organize things. This group is now nested in another group. Let's fix that. I'll simply drag this group down right here. Great. Now, if I want my swatch to be added as a color fill layer, then I can simply hold down Alt or Option and drag it on the canvas or the layers panel. However, if I want my swatch to be applied to the shape layer fill, then I can drag it and drop it over the shape layer on the canvas. Or, let's undo that, I can drag it over the layer in the layers panel. Or, I can activate the shape layer in the layers panel and then click once on the swatch. Same thing for the text layer. Simply activate the text layer and then click once on the swatch to change the text color. Moving on to the image layer which is actually a smart object, but doesn't have to be. If I activate it in the layers panel, and then where's my swatch? Here it is. If I click once on a swatch, absolutely nothing happens. Well, actually something did happen. The foreground color has changed, but who cares about the foreground color anyway? Hi! Let's drag the swatch and drop it over the image layer. Photoshop creates a color fill layer with a layer mask and clips it to the image. The image is now completely hidden, so I'm gonna change the blending mode to something like color. With the fill layer still activated, I can now choose another swatch to change the fill color. And that's how you use the swatches panel in Photoshop.